Hello, this is Angelia with today's wisdom. Today's wisdom comes from Daily Om. Feeling our words. Words have weight. Words carry energy, and this gives language its power and its potential to heal or hurt. And I'm sure we've all been healed a little bit by someone nice, you know, who said something nice about us. And I'm sure we've all been hurt by someone you know, with uh, some mean intentions, whether they're mean all the time or not, that have hurt our feelings. Most of us can remember a time that someone sent a word our way and it stuck with us. And I'm sure we can. <laughs> it may have been the first time we received a truly accurate compliment or the time a friend or a sibling called us a name. But either way, it stuck. And that's something that I've had problems with um, because of my self-esteem and how I was kind of told I was basically worth nothing. <laughs> so anytime people would give me a compliment, I felt uncomfortable with that um, until later in life when someone finally gave me a compliment and I realized they were right. And, you know, that kind of made me feel like, you know, maybe... I deserve those other ones and so I started thinking about that and going back on that and saying well you know I, I kind of did um, maybe I'm not a big screw up like I was told or worthless or you know pathetic or whatever word was lobbed at me <laughs> um, and I'm sure especially siblings uh, you know you grow up in the same household you're being kind of put upon and you know you really don't have anybody to take your emotions out on but each other so that's how that works. <laughs> this experience reminds us that what we say has weight and power and that being conscious means being aware of how we use words. Um, and that's something I used to get on my kids about is like, that's not nice. Don't say that to him. Um, and if they started fighting too much, um, they knew that I would make them stand in the middle of the room and hug each other, you know, for time out time. So, you know, like if they were seven, eight, nine, whoever the oldest one was, that you're going to stay in there that long and hug each other. So, you know, they, they would usually stop when I said stop. because <laughs> That was not something they wanted to do. <laughs> the more conscious we become, the more we deepen our relationship to the words we use so that we speak from a place of actually feeling what we are saying. Um, and that's what we should do is express our feelings openly and honestly without being mean there's no reason honestly to be mean you can state facts and how you feel about the facts without being mean we begin to recognize that words are not abstract disconnected entities used only to convey meaning um but actually um if you use the words only to convey meaning um, that would be better than, you know, saying mean things to people, lobbing your words out like little barbs to attack people. They are powerful transmitters of feeling. And that's why we even bother to speak. We're trying to convey a message to someone about something or tell someone how we're feeling. Um, and women, we like to do it more than men. You men need to dig in there a little bit. It's okay. You don't have to get all stoic and silent and brood you know you can tell people how you're feeling it's okay <laughs> we all have feelings excuse me for the next few days you might want to practice noticing how the words you say and hear affect your body and your emotional state um because they will if you're coming at someone really angry and upset that's going to give you a rise in blood pressure Get your heart beating faster. It's going to affect you physically. Um, and um, your emotional state. If you're upset and you start saying things that are upsetting to others, it's going to upset you as well. So, you know, it's better. And, and we're not perfect. We're not going to be able to every time just step back and say, you know, what you just said really bothered me because, uh, and this is how I feel about it. And, you know, we're not always going to be able to do that. But we can try. Notice how the different communication styles of the people in your life make you feel. And we all have people that we like talking to because, you know, the way they talk um, is nice. 
and they make us feel good and you can have nice conversations with them and come away happy and then we have people that we talk to um who are not so nice um and they're lobbing mean things at us um and we come away from that conversation not so happy um you know that's just the facts there also watch closely to see how your own words come out and what effect they have on the people around you because we're not likely um to be mean to someone who's being nice to us um, we're more likely to be mean to someone who's being mean to us. <laughs> so, you know, it's kind of, um, you get what you give. So think about that, you know, if you're wanting people to talk to you, maybe if you're, you know, being mean to them, passive aggressive to them, maybe that's why people don't want to talk to you. You know, you might want to think about that. <laughs> you may notice that when we speak quickly, without thinking, or rush to get our ideas across, our words don't carry the same power as when we speak slowly and confidently. And that's something that I have struggled with too. Because um, people I lived with <laughs> thought it was a bother, you know, for a child to speak to them. Get to the point. Hurry up. What are you saying? Who cares? You know. Um, so I grew up thinking I had to talk fast, um, and I have kind of a high little voice anyway, so a lot of times to people my, what I was saying would get lost, they would just get, you know, irritated with me, um, like, tell me later, whatever, you know, because I felt like that's how I had to speak to get a word in edgewise so they could hear me, but, you know, and really... What I should have done is probably raise my voice and slow down and been as mean as they were and they might have heard me. <laughs> Allowing those receiving our words time and space to take them in. And that's something I've had to learn to do is to slow down. You know, sometimes people still say I speak too fast for them, um, especially if they have hearing problems because I do have a high voice. Um, and if I'm talking fast, they're like, wait, what, what? I didn't understand. Um, I had a man at a workshop once, um, and he could not understand what I was saying at all. He would stop me every time at every sentence. Um, what? I'm, I'm sorry. I don't understand your voice. Yeah, you have a nice, soft voice. I know, and I'm sure what you're saying is important, but I just can't understand. And so what was supposed to be like a two-hour workshop went on. I ended up having to email the students that ended up being you know, uh, a lot longer than <laughs> what it should have been, but, you know, uh, that happens, unfortunately, sometimes. When we carefully listen to others before we speak, our words have more integrity. And when we take time to center ourselves before speaking, we truly begin to harness the power of speech. Um, and this is something one of my in-laws is guilty of, is she does not think before she speaks. There is no filter and she's very impulsive, so she jumps around. She interrupts people. You know, it's all about her. And and then she wonders why nobody wants to talk to her. Mm, you can't imagine. But um, if you stop and think about what you want to say, not while the other person's speaking. <laughs> no, that's rude. You're supposed to be listening to them fully and intently. Being present for them like you would want them to be present for you. Um, so think, you know, when they're done speaking... What's the best way to say what I want to say? Um, and it's okay to take a pause. Um, some people, you know, like I said, my in-laws think if you're taking a pause, you're either thinking up something or trying to think of some way to not agree with them or something, you know. And it's like, well, I was taught to think before I spoke. So that's why I do that. Uh, oh, whatever, you know, because... People are different. <laughs> but yes, take some time out and think before you speak. You know, think about how you would want to be spoken to and then speak that way towards the person that you're speaking to. When we take time to be ourselves and center, we truly begin to harness the power of speech. Then our words can be intelligent messengers. Of healing and light um, because like I said if you're just throwing anything out there it might not even mean anything you know and it might not mean anything to them to hear it 
But if you think about what you want to say, um, and then you express it um, in the best way you can, um, people will respect that, generally. Now, there's going to be people, you know, like I said, unfortunately, there's narcissistic, the narcissistic sociopaths in the world who are not going to be happy with anything you have to say anyway, because it's not about them. <laughs> um, you can transmit deep and positive feelings to those who receive your words. Um, and that's the goal. You know, you, you want to uh, add to the conversation. You want it to keep it in a positive light. Because so many misunderstandings are because people, you know, I have relatives too who um, can be a little too blunt. Um, and you're thinking, wow, really? And some people who make crass jokes who, you know, I, I, I don't like that. Because that's not the way I was raised. Um, and to me, if you're going to that level, um, that means you're not really thinking about what you're saying. You're just making a crash joke. Um, you know, uh, anybody could do that. Um, it doesn't show me that you care about me. It doesn't show me that you're thinking about me. Um, it shows me that's your fallback position. So we don't have to actually talk about anything. Um, and you don't have to let me know how you're feeling about anything. <laughs> so, you know, when, you, when you're speaking to people, you know, think about how your words feel. If they don't feel good to you, they don't feel good to others. Um, so think about what you want to convey, how it's going to feel. Um, and remember that your words have weight. So before you think about saying something mean to somebody... Um, think about how that's going to affect them. And if you feel like you have to actually say something mean to somebody, think of a positive way to say it. Think about it. Until next time.